Chicagoans showed their support for immigration reform at the annual May Day rally. Among thousands that protested immigration restrictions were young adults, painting a new face for immigration activists. So I think for students to have a voice and to be proactive in these demonstrations and to be proactive on campus and really create a sense of community and dynamism as youth is of the utmost importance and can have garnered huge results in the society. Illinois students have grown up with a strong Hispanic presence in the classroom. One in five students in the Illinois school system is Latino. Most of those students are documented, but that still gives young people a connection to immigration reform. No, it's my first event. To, uh, it's my first time going to May Day event, and you no, know, my dad's a worker. I got immigrant friends, so I'm just here to stick up for them. Now that there's more youth involvement in immigration change, more organizations are being formed, and more groups are doing their own thing, making it difficult for activists to unite everyone. Uh, so everybody's doing something, which is good, and I can appreciate that that everybody's is moving or trying to do something. But on the other hand, nobody's together doing the same thing. I don't think that's uh, positive at all. Mujica is one of the organizers for the May Day rally. And while attendance seemed to be low this year, the idea of stopping the annual event hasn't crossed his or young activists' minds. I think it's very important for students to become involved because students actually have a very pivotal societal role as growing intellectuals, as people who are educated. Days after the rally, the Illinois State Senate passed the DREAM Act, which will allow undocumented immigrants the chance to attend private universities. While it isn't a law yet, immigration activists still see this as a small victory for reform. From Pilsen, I'm Kristen Aguirre for Good Day to Paul.